All right, guys, we're here today at Steel City Oil Undercoating, Monroeville, Pennsylvania. I just have to show you guys this truck. This is something we hate, um, but this is a good example. So look, looks like a nice truck, right? So this is a good video if you're interested in undercoating or if you're buying a used vehicle. Looks really nice from the outside, right? Okay, so this customer shared with us, so I'm gonna share with you. They paid 800 something dollars to get this truck z boarded okay? Not even two years ago, they have the receipts, everything. Okay, it's been verified. Um, so they brought this truck in because they noticed it doesn't look very nice underneath and you know, they called z and they got some crap about it and they just wanted to try something different. So I just wanna show you how horrible this is. Uh, I don't know what other word to use. So starting off, if you look under here, you could just see how bad so this is a hard coat okay we do soft coats this is a hard coat it was done this is an 08 it was done less than two years ago so this was a used an example of hard coat on a used vehicle okay doesn't matter the place this was done at z -Bart, but it could be any any place that does hard coat um hard hard coat is anything that's going to dry over okay or cure so you can see they just missed look see how they did the they had the gun zoop, done right there um all over the place look at that look at this okay all over the exhaust everywhere complete mess so really bad job they didn't do the tops of anything okay uh i was just talking to my main guy here uh, our main tech he could spray this we have hard undercoat here um a different kind that we use on new vehicles only but that's not the point of this video um so Anyways, I was just talking to him about this. He could do this job in 10 minutes. And it's really funny because I asked the customer about this and, and he kind of he kind of said the same thing. I said, well, did they descale or prep or anything? And he said, no, they, they took it in the wash bay and gave it a quick rinse and then and then you know they sprayed it. So they probably they probably sprayed this truck in about 10 minutes and let it sit overnight and there's your $800. It's, it's, it's really just a scandal. So the biggest thing with this is they went right over heavy scale and you could just see this coating coming off everywhere, okay? Um, now one thing about going over scale, that's bad, okay? But the, the thing is that, let me find an area, okay? This area here, okay? So first of all, first of all, you could see this coating, okay? It just comes off, okay? If I get the scaler, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna come off everywhere. Um, under it, rust. Okay, surface rust. Even if Z bar would have descaled this, okay, descaling gets rid of the loose rust. You can't, no one sandblasts and stuff like that. That's, it, it doesn't work like that. Even if you get rid of the loose rust, you're left with this, okay, the surface rust. You're still covering rust. Descaled or not, hard coatings on used vehicles don't mix. Whether you descale, don't descale, in the end you're gonna have surface rust, it's covered. A lot of people think, uh, and we, we get this question all the time, they think that when, when people do hard undercoating, soft undercoating, they think that when you descale, you're getting rid of the rust. You're not getting, you're getting rid of the loose rust. You can't get rid of the corrosion in these pores unless you took the whole truck apart and soda blasted it and re re-e-coated it will cost you thousands and thousands of dollars so that's the problem with hard coats on, on a used vehicle you could just hear this crumbling all over the place look at all that junk coming off um so that's the problem with uh hard coat used vehicles descale or not you're covering rust that doesn't work it's going to do this it's going to bubble here this is all rust under here we already descaled a couple areas and we found a lot of problems with this frame already okay and it has a couple little holes in it from this crap that they pulled um just like i said coming off everywhere uh, another thing we don't like that a lot of people do is they actually spray the bottom of the bed and the cap okay same thing you're just covering look at that that's a real good job huh uh, but anyways you're just covering over everything it's not doing it's not physically doing anything the type of coatings we use nothing's perfect okay we're very non-biased though the, the type of coatings we use stay wet they actually soak into all this rust okay so that's the first thing they do. The second thing they do is they don't dry over. So they're not gonna trap and peel like this. We used to do frame repair. We did frame repair for 10 years down here. And this is a type of truck that, that in three or four years is gonna go into the, 
inspection and, and, and fail it because it's going to have a really bad structural problem with the frame or something and you know it would have been in our frame repair shop and that's actually why we started doing the newer type of oil based coatings because we saw so many vehicles come in with this junk on it and they were just completely trashed underneath so this is just a really good example um you know if you're thinking about protecting your vehicle you need to you need to do some research and, and check out our website steelcityundercoating.com uh, we do the newer stuff it works way better it's not perfect but it's not going to do stuff like this um you can see look how they sprayed half the shock everything it's just it's just a mess under here but our biggest problem with this is that they just went right over rust d scale or not they just covered the rust now you're going to have a lot of areas with problems okay so i mean a lot of people um with the undercoating oh just coming off everywhere a lot of people with undercoating they want it for looks well if you want it if you want it for looks i mean we we have some black stuff that looks good but our our products are for treatments okay if you want look if you want looks you should just buy bottles black spray paint and cover everything up like this and in a couple years your truck will be in the junkyard too um hate to say it that way but some people just don't get it um this is not rust proofing this is cover up makeup okay uh, like I said, we could do a job like this in about 10, 20 minutes, okay? Um, so anyways, just wanted to show you guys this truck as, as an example. It's a good thing if you're buying a vehicle too. You get a truck like this, you could actually see it's a shame. Look at these rockers. Um, they're actually in really nice shape for the year. Um, so really, in my opinion, this was a nice truck. The panels were good. And now, you know, Z-Bar just ruined it, okay? Uh, and now it's gonna be a big mess to really, really get this cleaned up and slow down the rust when you have all this crap all over the place. So a good thing to look for when you're buying a used vehicle, if you, if you see any type of undercoat underneath, run. Um, and if you have a vehicle and you wanna get it undercoated, come to us, we're very non-biased. We stock a dozen different products. We do a really good job, um, very honest down here. And like I said, we're using the soft stuff that actually will, would, on a, on a truck like this, this guy would have came here to begin with. We would use a product that stayed wet, soaked into the rust. It's not gonna fix the rust, but it's gonna do a really good job stopping it or slowing it down. And he wouldn't have this peel problem like this where now you can't really do much. So, have a truck, car, SUV, you wanna get it done, call us 724-719-7122. But this video was just an example of what we see all the time, dealer undercoating, Z-Bart, all the other places. This is what they do. One day they might change over, but just remember the millions of vehicles that, you know, they, they, they did this deception uh, type job on. Because that's what it really is. It's just a disaster. So, um, hope this video kind of showed you what happens when you do a, a hard coat. It might look good, but couple of years later it's you're gonna be in a here here's a here's a nice chunk so that that's why this is this is a good example how that just chunked off here you have all the surface rust so when you have a hard coat okay let me take this out here a little bit more when you have a hard coat they try to stick it on and they should descale to make it stick better but these guys it doesn't even look like they did but eventually it's just gonna crack and peel off like this so this is your super tough hard coat Okay, and now you have areas off like that. You're gonna go drive in the rain. Um, it's gonna kind of soak up in here, get stuck under here. It's just gonna, you know, over time, five years from now, this, this truck probably be in the junkyard or it's gonna be failing uh, state inspection. So be careful where you spend your money at. All right, thanks guys.